got a deal update in the luxury space. LVMH and Tiffany agreeing to new terms to their merger. Tiffany is now agreeing to be bought by the French, French fashion house for $131.5 a share. That's down from the original deal price of $135 a share. Karen, you read the, the new deal. You called it the tightest merger agreement you have ever seen. And you've actually read a lot of them. So <laughs> uh, what do you make of it? I have. There is nothing like this. The thing that's so extraordinary about this merger agreement is there is no material adverse change out, meaning Tiffany's business can be horrific. The economy can go into a depression. We could see the pandemic get much worse. There can be protests in the streets. None of that gives LVMH any opportunity to walk. In addition, LVMH had to agree that there was no government entity that could prohibit this deal from happening. I don't know if you remember that ridiculous letter from the French <laughs> foreign ministry suggesting that LVMH shouldn't close on the deal. They can't do that. And another thing is if LVMH drags their feet and Tiffany needs to take them to court to close, then Tiffany will sue them for the 135, as if they never agreed to this 131.50. Huh. So there, I've never seen anything like this in a merger agreement. So this will close. It just sort of goes to show you, I mean, how worth it it is to have incredibly good lawyers, because in this sort of environment, I, I think also Tiffany was right to take a tiny haircut for great certainty, because when you go to court, there is always just a tiny chance it doesn't go your way. Right. So they did the right thing by agreeing to that very small cut. Right. Good job, ri risk arbitrages, or whatever <laughs> yeah. you call it. Right, Guy? <laughs> <laughs> I just want, well I know, Mel, we, have, we probably yeah. got to go to break totally here. But <laughs> since we're talking about <laughs> Tiffany's, I want to give a shout out to Scarlett Johansson and Colin Jost. The genius there is she doesn't have to change the Scar jo thing. And they're both huge fans of the show. I'm probably sure. bought that beautiful ring at Tiffany's. Just throwing it out there. Congratulations, Mel. Scar jo. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.